Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and this is an overview of the managed categories on Magento 2. Um, so basically, I set up a Magento 2 demo site, and I want to show you the front end and the back end, and just briefly go over the categories, okay? Um, so very simple, this is just the, the sample site. Uh, going to the home page, at the top, there are categories. Um, some categories have subcategories, and in each category, there are products and banners and information. Okay, great. Um, and also some filters as well. Okay, so um, basically, if you log in to the back end, um, you're going to go to products and categories right here. Okay, now on the left hand side, you see all of the list of the categories. If you click on the plus signs, you can uh, go into the subcategories or sub subcategories. And um, from already existing categories, if they exist, what you can do is you can drag them and change their order. So either put uh, a category <clears throat> into a different subcategory or a different category or change the order, right? So for example, um, if I wanted women to be before what's new, I'd basically just drag it. I would just go here, women before what's new, and you can see this horizontal line, um, and that's it. And then uh, click OK to confirm. It might take a little time, and that's it. Um, so after this, you probably have to refresh your, your cache, uh, but that's a, the simple thing of a reorganizing. If I want to put something inside a category, say I want women inside men's for whatever reason, uh, I can do that, and then it went inside, OK? Okay. Okay, so uh, once it finishes refreshing, I'm just going to go over these tabs right here to actually manage a uh, existing category or add a new one, which is basically the same thing. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. Um, so now, uh, let's say I want to edit a specific category. Let's say men's jackets. Okay, the subcategory of a, under men's a subcategory called tops, and then jackets. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. If you click in, on it on the left hand side, it will actually fill it in, and now you're going to be editing this category called jackets, which the unique ID is 18. Okay, um, so under the general information tab, you have obviously the name itself. Right, so the name itself, and uh, is it active? Yes or no? Makes sense. Pre pretty simple. The URL key. Um, so if you go to, let's go to men's tops jackets. Okay. Um, basically, the URL key would be this jackets men, right? So jackets men, and our system in the system configuration we append the .html at the end. So basically, it would be this okay which is correct uh the description if we use it at all you can use the WYSIWYG uh, or just add information very very simple um the image if you use an image um in your specific template if you use it then you can add an image uh let's see if we can um try to let's let's see here let's just get an image Sorry. Let's get one image here and try to upload it, see what happens. Okay, so we can show a better example. Okay, so desktop. Okay, so I'm going to add an image, desktop, and right here. So again, um, one really important thing about Magento is uh, your theme, the way your theme is coded will dictate if some of these or all of these features uh, will be available. Now, in some cases, if you use like a ready template or, or something, uh, it may not uh, enable you to use all features, which basically means that the template uh, or the, the actual site was coded incorrectly or not using some of these features, but it, it should, okay? So page title would basically be the title tag, the HTML title tag, which is this on the top. Um, so let's do this. This is a test jacket for men's dash tops. Okay. Um, the meta description, the meta keywords. So key one, key two, 
and this is a search engine sentence about this category page. Okay, great. Uh, do I want to include it in the menu navigation, yes or no? Okay, again, depending on the template, um, typically it would refer to uh, do I want to have it here as far as I can remember. Okay, um, next thing, display settings. Okay, so typically you're not going to uh, change this too much. Okay, um, but what that does is enables the developer to add certain functionality such as only have a static block which in another video will explain how you add a static block to a specific category, product, or content page. Uh, do you want to display only products or otherwise? Okay. So, for example, in this in this specific one, if I click on, uh, let's say, if I click on save here for jackets, you can see that jackets is, are basically displaying only products. Okay. So here I have eight, nine products. Okay, so if I had a, a banner, if I had a static block, I could add something above this and add more functionality, maybe some banners, some uh, widgets, or some kind of functionality. Okay, um, so if I refresh this, I believe that's, let's see, right here, display settings, static block only. Um, here's my image that we uploaded before, and uh, there's basically nothing because I didn't add a static block. So this is a little bit more complicated. Uh, and you have to add it some, uh, either in the coding or um, in more detail. But it, 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 Magento really enables you to add more functionality. So let's put back products only, um, a specific CMS block. So again, this enables you to add uh, more functionality to change typically the left-hand navigation or uh, others depending on how your, your theme is coded. OK, um, and the rest of the things are uh, is anchor basically talks about the layered navigation, the types of filters. So if you want to have such a filter like by color, by size, by price, things like that, uh, you can spec toggle it on and on or off to enable that specific category to have filters or not. OK, next ones are um, what are the available sort by options? Uh, so here we don't really have it. Let me see. Go to another category, but um, what are the available ones in the drop down? Do you, do you want to sort by price, by uh, name, by etc., things like that? Okay, um, and then about the, the layered navigation itself. So I'm just going to move on for this, uh, but uh, you can kind of read about the specific one. What are the price steps between the, the pricing, layered navigation, um, things like that? Okay, custom design enables us to apply different designs to that category page either by a specific date um, or specify uh, some custom XML to add some more functionality or more uh, changes to that design. Um, for example, if one category page wants to be different from, a diff from another category page, okay? And the last tab is about category products. So here you're going to associate which products are actually specified here, right? So uh, what I would do is use this drop down to either see all of the ones that have already been checkboxed before, if I click on yes and then uh, search, right? Uh, the ones that, uh, if I click on no, I can you know, filter by ones that have not been checkboxed and maybe a specific name, right? So blue, um, I wanna specify you know, these specific ones. And uh, so basically I can, I can look at the ones selected or not selected or any. So and I can filter by my ID, my name, a SKU, a price range, or a position. Uh, and so what position does is if your category page has a filter of recommended or default um, positioning of, of a product, you'll, you can sort it out. So for example, I want this to be the first product a, sorted in the category page. This is the second one. This is the third one. This is actually, let's say, the fourth one. Okay. And let's click on save. Okay. So you can specify basically the position itself, which is this one, which is default, specified by the admin. Okay. So one, two, three, four. The lower the number, the higher it is on the numbers. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. Or 20, 21, 22. Uh, just the lower number should be the first one. Uh, by this sort, by position, okay? Um, 
that's basically it. So if you want to add a new category, you would just go to your default category, um, add another subcategory if it's in within the same root category, right? Just add a new one and, and just fill out all the fields, especially the ones that are mandatory and all the rest. Um, so that's it, basically. So hope this makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.